opportunity to say that uh, the matter of uh, Dr. Sir Peter Odili, which has been going on for some time, I want to put it on record that uh, this passport was released to him on the 20th of December 2021. And the court proceedings of 2021, uh, December 2021 and January 2021 were all, uh, 2022, sorry, were all misleading. And I want to use this opportunity to clear that erroneous misconception. NIS is a big organization. It's the face of Nigeria. They are the border point. They are the first point of contact. We are only doing our duty as obliged. We are having interagency uh, collaboration with other agencies. Where anybody is being watchlisted or whatever, we are to interface. And we don't have any personal reason or whatever reason with the applicant. The moment the court gave that order, we followed the procedure and we released the order. We released the uh, passport on the 20th. After releasing the passport on the 20th, the NIS felt embarrassed as myself because I was brought before the TV and radio and the news media, making me look like I'm a black sheep. I'm an officer in the Temple of Justice. I'm an officer from the Ministry of Justice. And as an officer from the Ministry of Justice, we are to uphold the rule of law. It will be very unfair of me to be representing the Honorable Attorney General and to mislead a whole organization as big as Nigerian Immigration Service. It's unfortunate what the NSX say. I'm not happy that he was not ready to speak to the press. He would have been in a better position to clear my name. Because he made he, he malign me and he attacked me. And God knows that this passport was released through the daughter of the applicant. And she says, judge of the FCT High Court. And as a court of the FCT High Court, it, I wonder if the NSC will convince me that the applicant have not informed him of the release of that passport. So I want the general public to take note. The NIS is a very reputable organization which obey the rule of law and we won't do anything to this. Number two, I am an officer in the Temple of Justice. I'm an officer of the court. I will not do anything to disparage the court in and out of court. I'm only doing my job. And in doing my job, I expect the alumni seek this morning to apologize. But he didn't do that. The court have said they vacated those order. That's the most important thing. The order made on 20th, 21st of December 2021 and 21st of January 2022 have been vacated by the court, duly vacated this morning. And I appreciate his lordship for doing that. So I just hope as we progress, the press should feel free to find out some of these things before you report. Some of them, yes. I must apologize that, yes, I have some disconnect in bringing some of this information to court. Not because of out of disrespect to the court. In the court of law, if you ask anybody, when a trial court has made a decision, when you appeal against that decision and you enter your appeal, the lower court is functional official from making any comment on that court, on that proceedings. And you can see what the court said this morning. That's why I didn't come to court, and I'm not in court, not out of disrespect. I thought appeal had been entered, and we should pursue our appeal. But I assure you, we are going to pursue our appeal to a logical conclusion. The court, I'll quote what the court said. I don't want to quote out of context. The court have given me the privilege that I will get that order today. But the order is simple. All order made on the 21st of December 2021 and 21st of January 2022 is hereby vacated. That's what the court said. So until 25th of April, when we are to come back to give a report of our appeal, I believe I still remain my humble self. Thank you very much. Thank you.